Hello, hello, hello. Um, well, uh, I lost my other YouTube channel, uh, cause I kind of forgot the password, but, uh, I guess this one will do for now. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, I'm gonna be doing everything on this channel that I was planning to do on the old channel. The only difference is I'm gonna try to make things better, um, I got a YouTube editing thing. Don't really know to use it. I'm gonna try though. But yeah, uh, if you wanna see clips of Rockazon or just tutorials on how to play the game, subscribe. Uh, or don't. Uh, but yeah, just stay tuned if you wanna learn about the game. Uh, thank you. Uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so the first of about learning how to be goaded on the sticks is uh you want to learn where to position yourself when receiving a serve right so you want to position yourself uh right behind the middle uh like create a let's say this is the middle you want to like stand here get like a nice chunk between you and the line and yep that's where you want to stand for positioning the reason why you want to stand here is because if you stand forward, you have all this backspace open and it's easy to get aced. But you might be wondering, what about the front? Well, that's why you have players like this guy to receive it for you. So like this guy can be like, oh, there's a ball right here, I'm gonna receive it. But if you're here, if it's all the way back there, and you're like this, you won't make it in time. That's why you gotta send here. So that's the first step of positioning. Alright, so the second part to receiving is to where to know when to sprint and receiving line shots. So, uh, I create an imaginary line on the court like this, I'd say about here. So anything past this line or on the line, the ball will go over using sprint. So make sure if you're past this line to receive without sprint so it can go to the setter. All right, but if you're behind the line, receive with sprint so it can go to the setter and you can get a point. So yeah. The next part is receiving line shots. So line shots are not that complicated to do when it comes to receiving. But yeah, what you want you gotta get this flick motion down. Gonna sprint to the line and then sprint more if you have to. But if not, let go sprint right when you flick. If you hold if you have to, let go if you have to. So if you're not letting go it'll look like this. If you're letting go, it will look like this. Another tip, if you can't really get the motion down, and let's say the ball keeps going like, or like that, or whatever, what you want to do is you just want to hold one key. That's probably happening because you're like using like D or something like to do that. I mean, it works sometimes, but sometimes if you keep on holding D, you would just like do something like that. You want to hold one key. Up. The key I hold is W. That's it. Just W. Well, that was kind of dumb. Of course, you're going to have to use W. Alright, but anyways, that's that. And that's the second part. Uh, Alright, so this third part to becoming a pro uh, receiver like Nishinoya is uh, spike receiving. So he might get spiked on a lot, but not to worry because. Your Lord Savior, uh, Slixer, is here. But yeah, um, when receiving, you want to stand behind this line. Don't worry, it won't spike behind you if you jump receive. That's just based off reaction time. It might be hard to get used to at first because reaction time is something you need to build. You can't, unless you already have it from previous games, like if you play games like uh, Counter Strike or. Um, rainbow you probably have really good reaction time so just wanna jump receive 
because if you jump receive, they can't get past you unless they tip. But if they tip, tips are usually slow, so you can just go there and then dive behind you and receive it. But yeah, that's the first tip. Um, also, you don't want to jump for no reason. Only jump when you know the ball is going behind you, because if they spike down, then the ball will go below your feet and they'll get the point. Yeah, another tip for receiving is stand where you see gaps in the block. So let's say someone's blocking like right here, and you're playing on this side. There's a gap right there, right here. He's right here. The gap is right there. Just find gaps in the block and cover them. That's your job as a receiver. Libs should know this already, but if you don't and you're new to this game, and you want to be a lib, this is a great video for you. Just pay attention to what's going on, and you'll most likely receive everything, unless it's not on your side. That's your teammate's problem. But yeah, that's the third step on how to receive. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, on to the last and final step on learning how to receive. And this final step is block receive so if your teammates are bad and get blocked a lot this would be very useful so let's say your teammate wants to be all cool you know spike it down but somebody comes out of nowhere and just blocks him where do you want to go where do you want to stand so you should make like kind of like imaginary line in the middle of here and you want to stand like along this imaginary line and receiving um Block receive when your back row is way harder than when your front row, but here's what you gotta do anyways. So, if unless your teammate likes to flick a lot, I'll probably do a video on how to flick later. But let's say he flicks a lot, then you can't really predict where the ball is going. But if he does, and you just just like wherever he looks, he goes. Uh, you can see based off the direction where they're blocking and what direction the blocker is. So let's say they're selecting this way. The blocker is going this way. The ball is going to ricochet off this way. So you want to stand right here. Um, it might be hard at first. But if you can pay attention to where the ball is. And everyone else in the court. It won't be as hard. But yeah. Um, that's the positioning part. If you're back row. But if you're front row. It's way more easier. So you can just bands block the ball. Or what bands block is what I usually call it. But yeah, it's just a jump block. You can jump receive and block it. But yeah, what you want to do is when the, your teammate spikes, the exact time he spikes, you just want to let go. It will go off the blocker and into your hands, and you can restart the play, you know, get a point. But yeah, that is the final part on how to receive in Volleyball Academy. Um, That uh, is the end of our video. Hopefully you guys uh, found this video useful. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next or things I missed, please leave it in the comments. Uh, but yeah, um, have a nice day. Uh, slicks are out. <laughs>